And welcome to Yotem Ontolengi, an Israeli English chef, restaurateur, and New York Times best-selling author, an all-around culinary superstar. I feel like many of you already know who he is. We are so happy to have Yotem joining us from London, England, to talk about his new cookbook. Here it is, everyone, Flavor, and to prep one of the very flavorful dishes in this book. And let me tell you, over 100 plant-based recipes in this cookbook, which is amazing. Now, you have been called the vegetable champion, the one that is getting the British to love their veggies. I would love for you to get my kids to love their veggies now. Please bring some of that to my house. Now, you... <laughs> You call your approach vaguely vegetarian. So tell me a little bit about why it's so important for you to focus on veggies in this particular approach. Well, particularly this particular approach is all about, uh, like you said, you know, bringing your kids to have to eat vegetables. Vegetables are not a necessary evil. They could be as delicious as anything else. Uh, they, you only need to shed the right light on them. And this is what this book and previous books that I've published uh, over the years are all about. It's about taking those vegetables, not even very special vegetables, even, you know, those celery roots and potatoes and swedes and root vegetables that are that are not at the top of the, you know, of the people's imaginations and really shedding new lights and injecting them with lots and lots of flavor. So making them super delicious. Now, do you have an absolute favorite veggie, Yotam? Uh, well, you know, it changes because I go through periods at the moment, celery, celery, uh, celery root or celeriac, as we call it here, has become a real star. And in this book, it's a really, it's a very simple vegetable to cook and you get lots of flavor, caramelization, slow cooking, uh, lots of sweetness. It's a wonderful vegetable for those who are afraid of their root vegetables. Now, you break down the recipes into three key elements. Process, pairing, and produce. Can you explain each of those elements for our viewers? So some recipes are about processes. Uh, talking about that celery root, it's about the slow cooking and the conversions, uh, conver uh, converting of starches into sugars. So you get something really flavorsome with a lot of drama and a lot of layers of flavor. That's a process that happens when you cook it. Uh, pairings are particular flavor profiles that you pair with a vegetable, whether it's uh, sweetness or acidity or heat that comes from a chili. And then there is particular produce that's the third key, uh, things like mushrooms, like, like nuts, like onions that are so powerful and so intense in flavor that they could flavor a whole dish uh, with their own uh, might. So those are the three big categories. But then underneath, hide all the wonderful vegetables and all the, the, the interesting ways in which we inject them with lots and lots of flavor. Okay, without any further ado then, I would love for you to make the recipe you've got for us today because that sounds amazing. What are you making? So um, these are uh, little eggplant rolls and they're sitting in a coconut uh, dal. Uh, so it's a, it's a relatively simple dal to make. It's got uh, red lentils, uh, curry leaves, curry powder, a few more spices uh, like cumin and turmeric, uh, ginger, onion, it just cooks into this wonderful dal, uh, and that's the base. Uh, the aubergines or the eggplants are just sliced very thinly, and then I roll them with some paneer, and you can also use tofu if you like, if you want to keep the dish completely vegan, mm. um, a spinach leaf, and some hot mango pickle. Uh, those sit here, and you can see it just before I'm going to finish it off. And what I've done here, I've taken something really simple, that which is uh, some olive oil, and I fried some chili and curry leaves in it. Uh, if you can't get the curry leaves, you can just use the chili. And then I'm going to finish uh, the dish off by literally just spooning all that beauty, uh, beautiful um, aromatics, the chili, the curry leaves, and then the oil that uh, that's, has been absorbing their flavor over the, the eggplants or aubergines. And it's a real wonderful warming dish for the winter to have with a bowl of rice and uh, it's, it's got cilantro, as I said, the mango pickle, the cheese, and the, and the eggplants that are sitting in this wonderful dal. And you don't even have to make the eggplants. You can just make the dal and serve it with a bowl of rice. And I tell you, you're going to be happy. Your kids might, have, might like it as well if you take the chili out. Tell me a little bit more about the curry leaves. Why would you use the leaves rather than doing your curry a different way? So, for you know, curries come in all shapes and forms. 
Uh, there is the curry powder we, we use here as well, which is a combination of spices. Uh, you want that here, but if you can't get a good curry powder, you can make it up. And then the curry leaves are a slightly different thing. So if you haven't tried them, try to get them. Uh, they're really worth the effort. They've got a wonderfully distinct curry flavor, and you can add them at different stages at the end, like we do here, but also at the beginning of, of the cooking. And they really infuse their curry flavor into the whole dish. Very, very common in, in uh, Indian and, and the whole South Asian cooking. And I really recommend you try and get, and get it. But if you can't get it, you can still make this dish. It will still taste very good. It looks delicious. If you could just send that, uh, you know, expedite the package right over to Canada, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'd love to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that is Yotem Otolenghi, and his new cookbook flavor is out.